Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole, and today we're gonna play a game of Instagram Makeup Roulette, or Makeup Instagram Roulette, whatever you wanna call it. So let me explain what I'm talking about. Today I had to take my dog out at 4.45 in the morning. Nobody should be walking around, especially alone, at 4.45 in the morning, but I didn't really have a choice. I live in Chicago, I live in the city, I don't have a backyard, and my dog had to go out. So I walked outside and I was super on edge. I was like looking over my shoulders, watching every corner. I had my pepper spray with me, making sure that nobody was gonna come around me. And then by the time we got back inside, I couldn't sleep because I was so on edge. So I was thinking about what I wanted to do for my video today, and I couldn't think of anything. I was like, oh, you guys really liked the whole natural makeup thing. Maybe I'll do that again, but I want to change it up because I just did that last Sunday and then it came to me like that. I thought I would scroll through the hashtag makeup look without looking at my phone and just scroll through and click and see what I landed on and then take inspiration from that and then create a look for you guys. So if you're new to my channel, I tend to do very simple makeup looks. I play with color and all that, but I keep it minimal. So I use like two, three shadows max because I have hooded eyes. When I kind of pile on the eyeshadow, it tends to look a little heavy on me. And when you get into the Instagram world of makeup, there are like 10, 15 shadows sometimes. It's crazy. So I won't recreate it exactly if it's a look like that, but I am gonna pull inspiration from it. So I just did this look, if you guys didn't see my last video, I loved it. So Lisa Eldridge did a look on Cara Delevingne and it's not something I would typically do, but I pulled inspiration from it and I absolutely love how it turned out. And I think I need to just do that a little bit more, which is how I came up with this. I wanna just flip through, see what I land on, and then I could end up falling in love with something that I would have never tried on my own. So I think this is gonna be super fun. I don't think this is a tag out there. If it is, I will definitely do some research and let you guys know below but if it's not, I would love for this to be kind of like a viral trend just so people kind of experiment and get out of their comfort zones a little bit more. I think it could be so fun and I'd love to see what you guys recreate. So I tag each and every one of you. If you do do this, tag me on Instagram. I will leave my Instagram right here. I'm really trying to work on my Instagram for you guys. I post a ton of my animals on there. So we have George. We have Stanley and we have Theo and they are all over my Instagram. If you love cats and dogs, follow me on Instagram. You will love it. So anyway, after this long winded intro, if you guys are interested in seeing a little bit of Instagram makeup roulette, go ahead and keep watching. All right, so we're gonna get tech savvy here. I'm gonna actually record on my phone, me scrolling through and stopping, and I will not be looking at this. I'm gonna look away and I'm just gonna land. So I just have to Google it first to figure out how to do that. All right, so we are on my Instagram page and I am going to hashtag makeup look and we'll click that hashtag and I am going to look away from this and I'm gonna scroll. And stop. Okay, so here is what we came up with. So we've got a peachy look, which I absolutely love. We've got some really bushy, beautiful eyebrows and some smoked out liner, which is not something I usually do. So we're going to go ahead and stop recording here. And this is one of those videos where we are going to shop our stash. So obviously I'm not going out and buying any new products for this. I'm going to look in my stash, see what I can come up with. And then I will be right back here and we will get this look started. All right, you guys, we have successfully shopped our stash. I am I'm gonna go in with the Profusion palette. You guys, these palettes come in handy more often than not. I love them so much. I have three of them and it has like every shade you possibly need. So we're pretty much just gonna go in with one shade on the outer corner, Oasis. We might add a little bit of Outspoken, which is a little bit darker. This is Oasis. And it does look like she has a little bit of a coppery shimmer on the inner corner. So I might have to grab another palette for that. We'll figure it out. And then it goes a little bit lighter on the inner corner. This look is absolutely beautiful. I will leave her Instagram down below. It looks like she posts a lot of makeup looks as well. So go give her a follow. I'll definitely comment on her post as well and let her know I recreated it. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Now her face looks pretty matte. I'm not usually a matte kind of person, so I am gonna go ahead and use my no pore blum just to kind of blur out the little pores I have right here. I shouldn't say little, because that's where my 
visible pores are. I did use my Embryo Lease to uh, moisturize my face with my Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy to give myself a little bit of color. So I'm not going to go in with a primer because the Embryo Lease works really well as a primer and I've had that sinking in for about 30 minutes now and I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Fresh Wear. Now you guys know that's like my favorite foundation in the world. It's not super glowy but it's not super matte so I do have a powder if I need to powder to kind of match the matte look but like I said I'm going to just kind of pull inspiration from this. We're going to go for the same look but my style. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my L'Oreal Fresh Wear. I think I might have to grab a little bit of a darker shade here. Just gonna add a couple of dots. This is a very dark shade. This is 470, which is obviously way too dark, but I think mixed in with 420 is my light shade, right? Yeah, this should be okay. All right, so foundation is on, so let's move on to concealer. You guys know I'm going in with my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I'm gonna use the shade Vanilla today. This is just my ride or die. She does look a little more matte, so she might be using more of a mattifying concealer, but like I said, I'm gonna go in with what suits me, so I'm just gonna apply this really quickly mainly right under the eyes, a little bit there, and that is it. After I apply my concealer, I just kind of like to blur the edges with the foundation brush just so there's no harsh edge where you can see. I mean, there's obviously brightness under my eyes now since I concealed, but I don't want anything to be visible. So I just really lightly kind of stipple right around those edges so everything looks really blended. And then I'm just gonna set under the eyes with, you know, my new favorite, the Ilia Soft Focus finishing powder. So beautiful. So I'm just going to make sure there's zero creases and then lightly set. All right. And just to give a little bit more of a matte finish, I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder in number one. And I'm just going to take that on this really big fluffy equate brush. And I'm just going to lightly kind of stamp that so I don't have much of a visible glow because it doesn't look like she has that whatsoever. So we're going to try out the more matte look today. All right, so going in with brows, her brows are really nice, beautiful, fluffy. I absolutely love them. I don't have that fluffy of a brow, unfortunately. I wish I did, but I'm going to go ahead and fill in with just my Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim. This is in medium brow, brow, brown. <laughs> I have been absolutely loving this. I haven't put it down since I tried it in that Gigi Hadid video that I recreated from Christina Gonzalez. So I'm just going to kind of keep them really fluffy and just fill them in. All right. Now I know I fast forwarded through that to spare you, but that literally took me one minute to do the pigment and emolliency. If that's the right word, emolliency, I think that's the right word of this is absolutely perfect. I have never seen a better brow pencil than that. I partially wish, which I probably wouldn't be able to get the emolliency and the pigment if it was a little bit thinner, but I want something a little bit thinner for this section right here. I just personally like that. I think I need to get a different product for that though. I need something like the, you know, like the markers to kind of do the brow flicks there, but oh, that pencil is so good. Go get it. You guys, it's like $5.99 at Target. And then I'm just going to set it up and make it really nice and fluffy with the Benefit 24 hour brow set. And this kind of, if you go overboard with your brows ever, this just kind of saves it and makes it look a little less like perfect and filled in. So give this stuff a try. This is my ride or die brow set. So I'm gonna let that dry down and then if I need to fill it in a little bit more, I will. I mean the difference, crazy. Okay, brows are on, so let's go ahead and move into bronzer. It doesn't really look like she has a lot of bronzer on, like, at all. So I'm going to go in with one of my more, like, peachy-toned bronzers. This is my Maybelline City Bronzer in 200. And I'm just going to go in really, really lightly. I'm not going to try to, like, define. I just want to add a little bit of color back into my face since we have the foundation on and I look pretty blank right now. And then you guys know I always hit the outer corners after I apply bronzer, blush, highlight, just to make sure everything looks nice and blended. I hope I didn't just say outer corners. If I did, I meant outer edges. And then with a fluffy brush, very, very lightly, I'm just going to add that right here as well. So she has a peach blush on and my most 
peach blush this is a tongue twister is my Burt's Bees blush in bare peach so I'm just gonna take that on this wet and wild bronzer brush I was about to say blush and I'm just gonna take that super high up on the cheek she seems to have it like right here in this area so that's exactly where I'm gonna go she is not shy with her blush either so I'm gonna go a little bit heavier than I normally would and then again, just blending out the edges. I actually really like how that looks higher up on the cheekbone. I think it makes my face look pretty lifted. I might do that. So there we go. There's something I've realized that I need to try a little bit more. And that's the whole point of this video, trying new things, changing things up and discovering what you love all right now it doesn't look like she has a ton of highlight on her face if any at all it looks like maybe on the tip of the nose and here on the bridge of the nose i can't see any on the cheeks maybe a little on the chin so i'm just gonna take my precious petals and i'm gonna not super like i don't want to do like a super thin line because it doesn't look like she has that at all it might just be natural daylight making her look like this as well so i'm just gonna apply a little bit here a little on the tip of the nose and then a little here i think i applied a little too much actually as i went in a little bit harder on the nose so i'm going to blend that out blend that out and blend that out so it just looks natural all right and before we get started on these eyes i just wiped off my lip product to get rid of any foundation on the lips and i'm going to give my face a little spritz this is the nyx bear with me and I just do that because it kind of settles down any of the powdery look my face still looks rather matte more matte than I usually go for but it just kind of takes away any of that like powdery look which we do not want I think I may have changed colors a little bit here um, I just went to go get some ColourPop super shock shadows that will add in the center of the eyes so Going in with the Pro Fusion palette, I'm basically going to just work with Oasis to start and I'm going to apply that into the crease, into the outer corner and more light so I'm going to kind of ease up on my pressure when I get into the inner corner because it does look the same color, just slightly lighter. It looks kind of like the shimmer shade might go into there as well. She doesn't have her eyes closed at all so I can't really tell so I'm just going to kind of do what feels right. Okay, so that is just Oasis with one brush. This is the Wet n Wild P20. Like I said, I just applied it a little bit heavier on the outer corner and I eased up my pressure as I went in. So there's kind of a transition of darker to light. So I'm gonna even up this eye and then we'll add in the ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. Okay, I'm happy with that for now. So we're just gonna take a pencil brush. This is a Sigma Practic pencil brush, again with Oasis. And I'm gonna work that under the eye. I'm not gonna smoke it out too much. I'm just gonna have it so it kind of peaks through once we do that smoky liner the whole focus of this is obviously on the smoky liner so we're gonna kind of keep everything else understated this is so pretty I just want to like highlight the inner corner add on some like mascara and call it a day but we are gonna follow the look but I think this is so pretty I love the power of one shadow on the eyes and then your lip and i love a monochromatic look this like i couldn't have landed on a better look so let's go ahead and add a little shimmer into the center and then kind of carry it over to the inner corner so i have this color pop shade in set to the sun which i think is a little too pink and then you know this might be okay i think this might be okay maybe we'll mix them together a little bit but this is lightning bug let me just swatch it to see how it swatches. Yeah, actually, I think that might be perfect. I don't want to go in too heavy because, again, the statement is the liner. We're just going to kind of add this lightly onto kind of right here, and then we'll kind of blend it in. So she, she, it's not like a halo eye or anything like that. It's just a little pop of shimmer, which is super pretty. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing and I hope it's not focusing on my compact because that always happens. 
All right, I think I'm gonna leave it like this for now. I know there's not a lot of shimmer at all. You could just barely see it when she opens her eyes. So I think this is what we're gonna go with. When I get closer to my mirror, I might add a little bit more, but I, th I think that's it, because you could just kind of see it pop when I open my eyes. So I'm gonna even this eye out. My camera is flashing at me that it's gonna die. So I'm gonna change the battery and then we will start working on that smoky liner. All right, so eyes are finished. I did take a little bit of a darker shade in the Pro Fusion palette. This is called Daring right here. And I added that to the outer corners just to deepen it up so you could see kind of the difference in the outer corner and the inner corner. And now we're gonna work on this smoky liner. So I am taking my most favorite Sigma brush. This is the Winged Liner E06. It is the tiniest wing liner brush in the world. I do have a coupon code with Sigma. It's Brittany Nicole for 10% off. I do make a commission on it. So if you're not into that type of thing, you don't have to use it, but get this brush no matter what, because it's fabulous. So we are going to start to apply this to the lashes. So she has a full, I'm just looking at the picture here. She has full black from inner corner to outer corner, winged out slightly. I'm not going to go quite as big with my liner because I have hooded eyes and when I don't lift my eyes up like that you guys can see it'll it would transfer it always transfers so I'm gonna just do kind of my version of this and we're gonna take that on the waterline both the upper and the lower as well so here goes nothing It looks like she kind of connects the lower lash line with the upper, so... And then we're gonna smoke it out with a shadow rather than the uh, gel liner. I never line my lower water line with black, like rarely ever do I do this, so this is definitely different for me. It's kind of difficult to get like into the lower lash line. Hers is like, pitch black it's kind of difficult for me to get in there all right so that's kind of my rough draft for now you guys can see there is some space in between the lash line and like the skin under there that i need to fill in i'm gonna grab this tart double duty double take eyeliner i always want to call it double duty beauty but that is not the double duty beauty product so i'm gonna take the pencil and see if i can kind of draw in there with that since i couldn't get in there with the Pencil, I might have to kind of fix that with the eyeshadow though, because we're gonna go in and smoke this out. Yeah, this doesn't really seem to want to get in there. I swear guys, I have the weirdest eyelashes in the world. I have like double, like a double lash line basically. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that and we'll try to get in there with the black liner that we're gonna go in with. So taking that Sigma wing liner brush, once again, I'm just gonna kind of like wipe off the excess and I'm just going to dip into a black shadow. This one is in my Alter Ego palette and just make sure when you do this you really really flick off any of the excess so that you don't drop any of the black on your face because we don't like that. Wow this is so different for me. I think I just need to get my lashes on so I could kind of get the whole completed look. Right now it just looks heavy on me, but we'll see how it turns out. I think the lashes will definitely help here. I did get a little bit of black down here that I'm going to try to correct when I hop off here with a little bit of a Q-tip. And then I just cannot, nothing will stick right there the, between the skin. So maybe the mascara will get down there and help. I'm hoping, but yeah, I need to hop off here, even these out, apply my mascara. I am using my Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions. It doesn't look like she has any falsies on. It looks like she just has really really, really long, beautiful lashes. And this is my trick for that. I've been talking about this like my past four videos. I absolutely love it. It gives you a falsy effect without needing falsy. So I'm going to hop off here, do all that, and I will meet you right back here. All right, guys, that was way more difficult than I thought it was going to be. I ended up getting fallout like here, here, all over when I was going in with the black shadow. So I did remove that with a little q-tip and some bioderma and then i just target concealed with my beauty blender and then the concealer and i just really kind of dabbed it out but that was hard man it is difficult to get a perfect 
smoked out liner without getting fallout all over your face. So definitely go with the eyes first on this one. If I was to do this again, I would do that. I did apply my mascara and I like it a little bit better. I think it may have gone too thick on the outer corners compared to her, but that's okay. I still like how it looks. So let's get this lip on for the final steps. I'm going to do a little bit of a mixture of the Katie and Desi Dose of Colors collection. More creamer, please, and no shade. And I'm going to hope it's going to match that. If not, we'll go in with something else. All right, so that was just more creamer, please and for some reason I only like these when I really like dab it in so I'm gonna do that first and then apply a little of no shade all right I think that looks okay but it's a little too matte compared to what she has so I'm gonna try to add a little bit of this Revlon peach me this is like a pearl finish so it's got um, might be too pink might be slightly darker than what she has going on, but that's okay. But I just realized we've lost like most of the shimmer on the lid. So I'm just gonna touch that up a little bit. All right, you guys, I went ahead and touched up the shimmer a little bit. And then I added an inner corner highlight with just my precious petals. And then I touched up the liner a little bit because some shimmer fell down. And I am so obsessed with this look. I think it is so pretty. I think my face looks so good right now. I would have never applied this much liner to my eyes if I was just doing my normal makeup look and I wouldn't have taken my blush farther back and higher up and I think it just makes my face look really nice and lifted. So I was looking at her Instagram and she's actually a professional makeup artist in Argentina. Her name is August August Capara. She has a pretty big following so you guys might know who she is but if you don't definitely follow her. I will leave her information down below and I tag each and every one of you to try this. Shop your stash, play a little Instagram makeup roulette, land on a photo, try to recreate it, take inspiration, do something that you're comfortable with and then definitely send it to me on Instagram. Send me a DM, tag me, whatever. I'll leave my handle right here again so you guys can do that and then tag everyone you can in this. I think this is such a cool idea and I think it kind of gets creative juices flowing. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know below if you guys have any questions. As always, if you're interested in seeing any more videos from me, please subscribe. It means the world to me and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.